It's all very well companies like Nestle Waters committing to a circular economy and to using 100% recycled polyethylene terephthalate to make their new water bottles. But how can they make sure they can always get the RPET pellets or flakes? In the UK, Nestle Waters has found the solution with Biffa, a leading sustainable waste management company. Biffa has invested tens of millions in a new processing plant to retrieve food-grade PET plastic and recycle it into RPET. The old bottles are cleaned, chopped into flakes and processed into RPET before being shipped to Nestle's Buxton water plant in England's Peak District. No more virgin PET from petrochemicals and no more having to ship RPET pellets from other countries. I've been speaking to Chris Hanlon at Biffa and Michel Beneventi, the head of Nestle Waters UK. First, Chris told me more about Biffa's partnership with Nestle Waters and how every Buxton water bottle will be made from 100% recycled PET sourced from the UK. Biffa has been recycling plastics for a long time and PET was, we collected PET, but we didn't actually take it the sort of stage further to recycling. And this year we opened a state-of-the-art recycling facility in Seaham in County Durham. Biffa put an investment of over £27 million into the facility to really advance PET recycling to kind of match up with some of the quality that you could find in Europe. The facility is designed to take post-consumer bottle and take that back to a pellet in food grade. And that's where our partnership with Nestle has grown from. Nestle's aspiration to get their books and branded water bottle up to 100% recycled content was a very nice fit with our strategy. My aspiration, Biffa's aspiration, would be that all of those bottles and more are collected and recycled back into a bottle. So true circular economy, bottle to bottle, the bottles are not downcycled, exported out of the UK for other use or passed to waste of energy. We want the bottles to end up back in their primary use. The partnership is that we will supply Nestle waters into 2021 and going forward with recycled content for their books and water brand. What Buxton or Nestle Waters UK and BIFA are doing is really to you know stimulate the full industry and to have the possibility to source the recycled PT from the country. And this is very important for us because on top of that is really reducing the carbon emission if we don't need to bring it from Europe. And how important is this to encourage that circular economy? Oh, it's hugely important. Recycling plastic around in a closed loop system is fundamental to a circular economy. And this kind of partnership demonstrates that clearly. You know, you can recycle most plastics. That's fairly straightforward. But to get it back into the container it was in in the first place is the absolute key to making circular economy work. And that's exactly what this process will do. And to maintain the quality, having the perfect plastic bottle for Nestle Waters, for Buxton Water. Yes, absolutely. I mean, the circularity starts with the design of the bottle with recyclability in mind. Then the collection process, Biffa has its own network of collection systems. We collect from several million homes around the country and many thousand businesses, and we're able to collect that feedstock. We are then able to process that feedstock within our own facilities, which then allows us to dictate the feedstock to take it to the final stage, which is to get it back into food grade pellet. And yes, you're absolutely right. Quality is absolutely crucial at every stage to get that right. Michelle, this hinges on consumers responding to such an ambitious project. You need to get those bottles coming back so that Biffa can recycle them. How do you explain what Buxton and Nestle Waters are doing? How do you encourage the response? I think for us it was absolutely important that we can source our uh, recycled PET from UK because today this is not the case. So this partnership for us was absolutely important to get that quality. And then once we have that quality, we wanted to convey the message to the consumer that, you know, please help us to recycle. Because if you recycle, this is not a waste. It's not waste at all. It's a value. And because it's a value, we are going to reuse it. And then we are going to do again and again and again. We want a circularity. We wanted this to close the loop and we want to do what we call the bottle to bottle. So we will produce a bottle with PT done in UK by BIFA and then collect the bottle and bring it back and so on. This was absolutely paramount for us to go on this direction. And how long is it going to take before you get that UK sourced RPET for all of the Buxton bottles? Our commitment on Buxton is that by the end of 2021, we want to have 100% of the bottle with 100% of recycled PT. 
and we can bring our know-how that is on the quality side Bifa has all of the technical know-how, uh, of course, on their side. Then we can work together and then we can, if it is needed, you can adapt the step. You can, you know, look at it immediately and to get it what you need step by step. And this is what I found it really fantastic. Yeah, and I think I would like to endorse that. From our side, we've been involved with Nestle since the beginning. We're not yet producing the R pet pellet. We're producing a flake at the moment. We're in the process of installing the equipment that will then take it a step further by the end of this year. And it's been really encouraging to see how engaged all of the Nestle team from the top down have been in the process with us and the help and support they're giving us. We have weekly meetings with Nestle and we discuss the progress and they've been massively supportive. I think it's a really good footing for a really long term and strong relationship. I'm struck at how expensive and big a process this is. This isn't something that happens overnight. As a consumer, I'm always wondering why big companies like Nestle Waters take such a long time to to bring about those changes. But I suppose this really is a kind of a, a process that does take years. You know, in, in some other country, we are there already, and this was done because of the infrastructure that you put in place. It's not something that we can just come in the morning you know, we are a producer of mineral water, but we are not recycler. So we can encourage, we can help, we can support, but we need some partner and we need as well, you know, if you don't have collection center, if people don't have this, you know, habit to recycle and then those recycling are not taken and bring it back to a company like Bifa that are able to do bottle to bottle, then it's very difficult for us to do it. Thankfully, this is accelerating. And this is very good for all of us. You know, we do this with BIFA, but this will benefit as well for other competitors in the future. It's for everybody at the end of the day. Chris, then, as BIFA is one of the leading waste management companies in the United Kingdom, how important do you see those collection and recycling schemes? They're absolutely crucial. This kind of circularity wouldn't happen without the infrastructure behind it. You know, BIFA's strategy has always been that we must have control of the feedstock. We don't want to rely on anybody else, which is why, for example, the same facility that will process many thousands of tonnes going forward, all of the feedstock will come from our own collection infrastructure. The demand for recycled content is growing exponentially. Packaging tax and various other legislative things that are coming into force over the next couple of years are having a big part on this, and we want to be at the front of that. You mentioned tax uh, government. How important is that relationship that BIFA has with local councils and national governments? Very important. I'm going to say that the government pre-COVID were starting to get really engaged with plastics and recycling on the whole. It's perhaps something that's not been on the top of their list for several years, but it certainly had gained momentum. They are interested. It's a very hot topic for them as well, and they want to see change. So we have a good relationship at governmental level. We lobby them to try and make them understand how plastic recycling should work within the UK. You know, the DRS system that's potentially coming in in the next couple of years is another thing that will help us to improve quality. The deposit return scheme will source and segregate out PET bottles, which again will help our relationship with Nestle and allow us to get that recycled content up to where we need it to be. The deposit return scheme is very important because it will ensure that the consumer are returning back the bottle by putting a value on each of the empty bottles. And then you will pay when you buy the bottle. And then when you bring back the bottle, you are going to get it back. So this would be very important to increase the number of return. And then we can collect it almost 90 to 100% and then return it to bottle to bottle and make a new bottle. This is absolutely key for us for the future. How do you see the deposit return scheme working in particular with Buxton and the bottles that Buxton make? Of course, the, the scheme is for everybody. It cannot be only for uh, you know one brand. So it's important that this is progressing. There is now a commitment from the Scottish government that is going to go first. Of course, we were trying to push that all UK can go at the same time, which can facilitate a lot. But I think that Scotland is going ahead. And then I think it's important. We are encouraging. We are trying now to create the return scheme company because this is the key. And then we need to put all of the infrastructure that is behind because this will involve as well glass and cans. Is something that it's going to attract a lot of people at the same time. And it's important. And it will, of course, increase the quality of the PET that we can put in our bottle in the future. 
at the end of the day, what we all want is then to have a fantastic system that is, you know, collecting as much bottle than we can and then with a lower cost. This move towards circularity and sustainability, it's a huge investment. Michel, personally, why are you doing it? What do you feel is so important to invest in this for? I think it's personally, I found it this absolutely a must. Of course, we are maybe managing director of a company, but at the same time, we are consumer. We are people living in this planet and we wanted to have the best way that we do business. And, you know, it's important to have uh, less impact on our planet. And, you know, we all have families and I can tell you, I have three daughters and they are reminding me as well every day about all of what we do and how we work and how Nestle is acting. And it's a big commitment, which we are acting on since a long time already in Nestle. So I think the corporate responsibility in Nestle is something that is now more than 10 years. We improve it. We make more commitment, but it's something that is at the heart of what we do. We want to do it and we have to do it. I think people need to remember and I think it has been forgotten what a fantastic resource plastic is. You know, it works in pretty much every sector of our economy in terms of its usefulness as a resource in packaging, in transport, in medicine. You know, we really could not do without it. Plastic is not the problem. The education and people not understanding how to treat this resource when it's being used for its first life, how then to, to recover it. And I think, you know, the global solution to this problem is education. Of course, we have our responsibility to make the infrastructure and then to make it all what we can in order that our packaging is less impacting. This is not a waste. This is value. And if you recycle, this is coming back and this is less impactful for the carbon emission. And so that's why it's very important. And what Buxton and Biffa are doing help lead that journey? Definitely, yes. Because, I mean, you know, when you started to have a possibility to source your recycled PET from the same country, then, of course, everybody is going to jump on it and everybody wants it, and I think this is important. Chris, can you tell me where you see the circular economy in Britain in five years' time? Certainly from Biffa's point of view, we've committed to putting another £1.25 billion into the green economy over the next five to ten years and that, that investment includes quadrupling our plastic recycling capabilities. For us and for me, it's absolutely crucial that we work with the brand owners and that we engage and that we both agree on a common goal. And that's absolutely crucial. So we need to engage, explain and educate not only the public, but also the brand owners about what works in recycling and what doesn't. We need to embrace technology. You know, chemical recycling, for example, is coming along, which we see as complementary. We are looking at that. So it's got to grow, it's got to continue, and it's got to get more and more circular. It's the only solution to some of the problems we've been discussing. Michelle, can I ask the same thing? Where do you see the circular economy in Britain and Nestle Waters in five years' time? I think we will continue on our journey and I see that we are going to make it huge progress. I think it will be exponential in the next five years because those partnerships, those projects like we are doing with BIFA will continue. And then, you know, we are already looking, what can we do with caps? What can we do with label? We already have recycled content in our shrink film. So this is the next step that we are already investigated how fast we can go and then this will accelerate. And I see that People are looking much more on this and then this uh, give us the boost that we needed to accelerate the journey and then to push for this continuity. In all honesty, I'm understanding more over the last 10 years how crucial it is. All right, it makes us money. It's a profitable business, but it's also crucial for the greater good, if you like. I think my children understand it a lot better than I did when I was their age. And again, down to education and awareness. I think, as Chris said, uh, my kids know much better at their age. The, the little one is 12 and she knows more than me at that age, definitely. And I think it's where we are in the education that we are uh, having now. And this is important that we encourage everybody to do more on this. That was Michel Beneventi of Nestle Waters UK and Chris Hanlon of Biffa on how all Buxton water bottles will be made from 100% RPET from the UK. In the next instalment of Nestle's Together for Circularity podcast, we'll hear how Nestle Waters is becoming carbon neutral. To find out more about what Nestle Waters is doing for the circular economy, go to nestlewaters.com and click on See What We Do. I'm Alistair Elphick. Thank you for listening to this modulated media production. 